What's up, guys? So some updates were released uh, last night, early morning, whatever. I uh, will go over those now. Nothing major, just some smaller quality of life things and whatnot. Um, I changed the train, the train area to Morton. It's now a little more spread out. I didn't like how congested the first place was, and I understand for killing them you want that, but it just didn't look good. And if you do want congestion, there are lizardmen around here, which are better for that. Um, if you're actually not familiar with this, they both have um, superior versions. So they're, they're lizardmen brute, and then I think gangster boss. They do drop dragon skin This is trained, by the way. So this is like the first time you join the server. This is probably something that would apply to you. I want to do a lot more mid-level and low-level things just to sort of improve the smaller level gameplay because um, there's two ways that really... Like, the problem with it is there's, there's two different kinds of people. There's some people that want everything familiar, exactly what they're used to. They want to go to rock crabs when they train. And there's another type of person that wants, you know, custom and wants to see new things. And that's kind of what we are, right? We're, we're a unique server. We want to we wanna do that. But we got to find the right balance. It's got, it can't be too crazy. And I think this is pretty simple to follow. There's one dude in here who has some dialogue that's useful to you. Um, but basically what you're going to do is when you kill them, you'll have intelligence reports, which you can turn in for experience on that dude. And then you'll have lizardman fangs, which you can turn in for, uh, for loot. I think a mystery box on that dude. So that's all you really need to know about training. If you want to get two crabs, it is just colon colon crabs. And that is your standard rat crabs. So there's been a few decanting related things. Um, the aggression pots you can now decant. Super Combat Potion 3 was fixed. You can decant that one. And then a noted decanter was added thanks to Steven. Um, we're going to actually, he's probably going to redo it, uh, I believe, is what was the current idea is. But I'll show you how it works at the current moment. So we'll just bring those potions now. Um, to get there, go to Canifus. I don't know if Canifus is spelled weird. I think Canifus is spelled wrong because I have Canifus with an A, but if you go to this map, it's with an I. So it's. So I've just been spelling Canifus this entire time wrong. What if, what if, is it Canifus? It is with an I, so I should probably fix that. That's been, an, I, 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 it's funny, because I think I vaguely remember someone reporting that to me. So that will be fixed. But, um, anyways, you're looking for this chemist NPC. It has to be in the first slot. I believe that's one of the things that will be changed. But for now, if you, if you see this the first day or whatever, um, here you go. So there you, there's noted, there is noted decanting now, and that's pretty nice. Uh, what's, what's, next? um, the Slayer boss, or not the Slayer boss, the Hunter skill boss, Tuz, now gives more experience upon death, has a slightly lower health of 3,200 compared to 4,000, um, and then you also can get more experience from collecting the, uh, actually, I don't think you get more experience, you just have a better chance of finding the spear parts, including the Golden Spear, the Golden Spear was increased as well, it, what used to be 100, 1 in 100, and now it's 1 in 75, and then now to get the smaller parts, it's 1 in 10, so... I've seen some reports, and it seems pretty good, but the problem is, I think I might need to adjust the time at which he spawns, because I think he teleports faster than you can kill him, If is, is what my understanding of it was. Either way, the small improvements are there, but we're not quite there. We'll have to, we'll have to work on a couple more things. Um, so then the next thing would be the Sorceress Garden and the Rise of the Six minigames have trackers now. You can tell what your, your loot count is, or kill count, or whatever. And then a lot of those minigame items that are from those um, yell now. Um, you probably didn't really see much loot coming from there, and it's mostly just because they don't yell. Um, so Amulet of the Dam yells, the Robin Hood hat from um, Sorcerer's Garden yells, the pets should all yell. Um, that's that's been cleaned up a lot, and I also fixed a couple clue things that yelled the newer items like the Anguish Kit. If you, I don't know, I don't know if you've, I think you've already seen that from my from my series. That um, I got one and they didn't yell, and that's been fixed. So just smaller fixes and sort of getting a base layer on Morton because. He can't blame me for that, John. He always loves when I show his Skype. He can't blame me that for that. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, peace. No, I, I still have more things to talk about. Hold on. Let me just... All right. My bad. Uh, so the last thing I want to talk about is we are going to have double experience starting tomorrow. We'll have double experience this full weekend. What we're going to be doing is we're going to do double experience for the last uh, weekend of every month. So tomorrow will be the first one from this new format. And then the next one would be on uh, March 29th. So, you can sort of plan accordingly. And what, with that, we're also going to be doing a live stream, a Vlasa Mass live stream. So, if you want to get involved in that, all you need to do is show up on the day and make sure you have an ancient tablet. Now, if you're not familiar with how to get an ancient tablet, you need to go to the Raid Point store, which I will show you exactly how to get there if you have, if you're like a brand new account and you're interested in going to the Vlasa Mass, this is what you'll need to do. 
you'll come to Edgeville and walk to the um, the mountain, the ice mountain next to the monastery over in this direction. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys are going to know what I'm talking about, but I, I still wanted to show you um, just so you guys know. And also, fun fact for those that are, are listening, there's a balloon spawn right here that I don't think people know about yet. So if there is a loot balloon spawning and you can't find it, check this spot. I think most people know that, but still, you know, there you go. Um, so pretty much just up here, you're going to find an orb of light. And with the orb of light, you can teleport to all the bosses. And any boss will give you points. You need 1,000 raid points to get a, a, a totem. So there's a couple ways to do it. Kill The easiest one to kill with like lower lower player gear would be um, either meleeing a mutadel or maging tectum with like ice barrage or something. But if you don't have those stats... Um, another quick way to do it would be to just play the game. Every once in a while, I give out points. And on the day of the event, which will be Saturday, Saturday around 1 p.m. server time, which is Pacific Standard, that's when the um, that's when the event will be. Uh, and I will be giving points on and around that time as well for free. So uh, if you want to try to get there early, go for it. You need this item right here, Ancient Tablet. One, one in, it's 1,000 points. Um, every mutadile kill can give you anywhere from zero points to 100 points. So technically, 10 mutadile kills could sufficiently supply you those points. But yeah, I apologize for that. My mom came in and was talking to her. If you want to do the Voss Mass, you don't really need much gear, just range gear, and you need that tablet. So try, start working towards that. We're going to try to do those more often, at least like once a month. So even if you can't get in for this one, try another one in the future. But that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.